the ladybug, the ant, and the aphid, also known as ladybird. Elytra, the hard covering over wings and abdomen. The elytra open to expose their wings and off they go. They can lay 1,000 eggs. The number of spots does not tell their age. You can even buy them online. Sweet looking predator. And they come in all kinds of colors. Same on both sides, symmetry. Like all insects, ladybugs are symmetrical. The same on both sides. What are the parts of a ladybug? Ladybugs have two pair of wings attached to the middle section or thorax of their bodies. The inner pair of wings is used for flying. The outer pair of wings, named the elytra, is hard like a shell and is used to protect the ladybug. And now the aphid. Wingless and soft body. Aphids use a needle-like mouthpiece to obtain the sugary plant sap. Groups of aphids gather on the veins of the plant. So many gather together, they drain the plant of all of its sap. They come in many colors. They eat both day and night. Like all insects, they are symmetrical. Symmetry, the same on both sides. Same body parts as an ant and a ladybug, head, thorax, abdomen. But how are aphids connected to ladybugs? Ladybugs eat aphids. They eat a lot of aphids. A ladybug can eat 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. How does the ant fit in? Same three body parts, head, thorax, abdomen. Ants are symmetrical too. But what do they have to do with ladybugs and aphids? Ants protect aphids. Only two species on earth have pets, ants and humans. They keep them in line and move them to the juicy veins. The more they drink, the more they sweat, and they sweat honeydew. Ants love honeydew. An ant's favorite food? Honeydew licked off an aphid's back. Ants often take aphids back to their colony to keep them safe at night. Ladybug, ant, and aphid. A love-ate relationship. I'm a ladybug, ain't that neat? I got six legs and I got six feet. Black polka dots and a little black hair. Two antenna and a body that's red. I fly to the flower, so pretty and sweet. Looking for aphids, that's what I eat. I'm the same on the left as I am on the right. Symmetry, symmetry, out of sight. Symmetry, symmetry, out of sight. I am an ant, I'm an insect too. Two antenna, just like you. Three body parts starting with my head. Thorax is next, then my abdomen. I don't eat aphids, but I keep them in line. It's a colony life, and I like it just fine. I'm the same on the left as I am on the right. Symmetry, symmetry, out of sight. Symmetry, symmetry, out of sight. I am an aphid, I'm an insect too. I got that stuff, just like you. My special part comes from my head. And I'll drink the flowers until they're dead. Those ants are bossy, but they keep us in line. Ladybugs eat us, that's not fine. I'm the same on the left as I am on the right. Symmetry, symmetry, out of sight. Symmetry, symmetry, out of sight. 
Okay, let's draw a ladybug. The first thing to remember about a ladybug is that it is an insect and it has three distinct body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. We're gonna start with the abdomen today, which is the circular part. So you're gonna kind of make it a circle, but a little bit more like an oval, just a little, kind of an elongated circle. And as you come back around to the top, stop and leave it open. It almost kind of looks like a horseshoe like this. Okay. Now, you want to bring a line across, but you don't want that line to be straight. You want it to bend just a little bit, but not enough to really make it look like a smile, just enough so it has a slight bend in it like that, okay? Now, go right to the middle, okay? And from the middle, you're gonna take a line straight down, okay? We have the back of the ladybug. This shell that covers the wings and the abdomen, which is underneath here, is called the elytra, the elytra. Now, we're gonna draw the middle section here, and what you're gonna do is go right at this middle point, jump up, give it a little space, and then you're gonna draw an oval that's kind of floating out there in space like that. That's the head. So we now have the head, the abdomen. So obviously this part's gonna be our thorax. And what you're gonna do is go from the edge of your oval here, and you're gonna to go to this point. But you don't wanna go straight, you kinda of wanna bow it out just a little bit so it looks a little bit round. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. Of course, it's an example of symmetry, so whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And then right up here at the top, you're gonna to add just a little piece that sticks out just like that, okay? Good. All right, now, from this part, we're gonna go back down to the black dots. And on a ladybug, if it's got a dot in the middle, it's gonna split that dot. So we're gonna put a dot right here with our ladybug, and half of it's gonna be on this side and half on that side. So you wanna make sure that both your halves are exactly the same. Otherwise, your ladybug's not gonna be symmetrical. Symmetrical is just the adjective when you're talking about something, you say it's symmetrical, but it's called symmetry. All right, we're gonna do one here. So this is an example of symmetry, but if somebody asked me about my ladybug, I would say, oh, this ladybug is symmetrical. You'll notice how I didn't make these dots completely round. Ladybug dots, aren't exactly round, they have a little shape to them. But again, it's symmetrical, so you wanna make sure they're the same on both sides. And now you can follow your own pattern, or you can go back through the video, and you can look at some of those ladybugs on some of those pages, and look at the patterns on their backs. Some of them have a lot of dots, some of them have very few dots. And a old wives' tail, I'm gonna stick one right here on the side that's just falling off. There's an old wives' tail, that says if you count the dots on the back of a ladybug, you'll be able to tell how old they are. And that is absolutely not true. That is a story. All right, let's jump up to the head now. On the head, we're gonna put the two white spots where his eyes are, which are gonna be here and right there, okay? And then you're just gonna shade in all of them. around those eyes. And if one's a little big, you can carve off the edge to make them, you know, symmetrical. There you go, good. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the thorax. And a lot of times you hear people say, oh, ladybugs are black and red, but the truth is they're black and white and red. Well, the truth is they're all different kind of colors. Notice I left this little spot here and I'm gonna copy that same one on this side like that, okay? And we're gonna leave those white and we're gonna color the rest of the thorax, we're gonna color that part black. So you can color it solid black or if you wanna make it look a little more three-dimensional, what I like to do is I just take a little squiggle line and I kinda outline a little circle in the middle like that, okay? And now I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna color the rest of the thorax, okay. 
and I'm gonna leave that a little bit. Now, when you get up to this part right here, you wanna get as close as you can to the head without touching it because you wanna leave a, the slightest little space between there so that you can see the difference between the head and the thorax, okay? And then go right around that white spot. Notice how I kind of outlined and then I go back and try to make my strokes all go the same direction. Okay, now this little spot that we left white here is actually just a highlight of light. So now what we're gonna do is go back with our pencil on the edge and we're gonna go just a little bit darker right around the edge, just like that. And then we'll go back in the middle and go a little bit. Like that. And you can actually even smudge it a little bit with your finger if you want to do that. I mean, you need to just clean up a little bit. You can clean up. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and work on the antennas. So the antennas are going to come out here. And they're just going to have a little piece that pops out on both sides right next. Like that, Okay. And now the antennas are going to, I'm just going to take a line around like this. They're not very long antennas. They're kind of small. But they're also not really skinny like a lot of antennas. And they end in a shape that's like a club. So it kind of comes back around like this. And back around like this. Okay. And now what you want to do is go back around this whole antenna and Fill it in just a little bit more and make it a little bit thicker. So you just go back on both sides and fatten up that line, okay? And there's his little antennas. Now, a ladybug eats aphids, and so he needs to be able to chew. So he's got these little mandibles. So they're kind of like little parentheses. They just kind of come out like this, okay? It's almost like a spider. And then they've got little little jagged pieces, so I just kind of make them a little jagged like that. Okay, and there's your ladybug's mandibles. Now let's start on the legs. So the legs of a ladybug, the first set, come right out of the bottom of the thorax. So they're going to be in three parts, and the first part's really small, so it just kind of comes out. See how small it is? You can do the same thing on the other side. Obviously, it's symmetry, so you know where we're headed. Then this piece is going to come down. This is the longest part of the leg right here, okay? And then there's going to be a little piece, the next part that sticks out just like that, okay? And you're going to do basically the same shape. You don't want exactly the same. Your legs, they're going to be the same length, which is symmetrical, but they might be in different positions as he's walking along. Okay, now those are kind of skinny legs. So what you want to do is you want to come back and add another side to it. Okay, and then put a line. Okay, and then from here, you want to make this, think of it as a triangle shape. So it's going to be wider at this point, and then it's going to get a little bit skinnier. And see how this sticks out? That's like an elbow, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. It's gonna be a little bit skinnier, and then it's gonna stick out. So if you think of like a triangle that has its point cut off, that's kind of what you're looking at. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this one's gonna kind of come out like this, okay, here. And then this piece is gonna be bigger, and it's gonna come in like a triangle. And then this piece is going to do kind of the same thing here. So you can see how those elbows, that's what allows them to bend. Okay, and once you have that leg, you can go back and just fill it in nice and dark. Ladybugs have black legs, okay? All right, now you want to work on their toes. And their toes kind of come out like this. There's one here. And one kind of like this, okay? It's almost like a little Y kind of comes out of both of those feet like that. And they have little claws on them. If you look at them under a microscope, you can see it helps them to hold on to things. Okay, now the second set of legs are going to be kind of tucked up under, so they're a little bit harder to see. So you're only going to see this first part, which comes out like this. 
And then remember it goes back just a little bit like that, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, okay? The first part of that leg is tucked up underneath his body so I can't really see it. So we're started with the second part of the leg. Okay, now the third part of the leg comes out again, kind of like a triangle, but you don't want to overdo it like a triangle. You know, if it gets too thick or too skinny, you can widen it up a little bit. And then remember, just shade. Shade those in. Now, as always a rule, if you just come really, really close, really close, but you leave a space of white, look at how it shows the difference of the edge there between the ladybug and the leg. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna get really, really close. And I'm gonna color that leg in. Looks like he has a broken leg, doesn't it? Okay, and this one comes out. Same thing, just like that. And don't forget, his two little toes coming out like that. Okay, and now, the last part of the legs are kind of, they're kind of a combination between the top and the bottom. So you're gonna have a, just the slightest little part sticking out of the first part of the leg. The second part of the leg, same thing, it's gonna come out here like this. Get a little bit wider. And color that in. Then in a little bit wider, just like a triangle. Okay, and then this piece is going to kind of come out on this one. I'm going to make it stick out, and it's not quite as long. Right. And out of that one comes one, two, two little toes. There you go. You now have a ladybug. start with a long oval kind of like what we did with the ladybug only really long and we want to leave that top part open so see I kind of did it almost like a teardrop maybe like a lemon something like that you're gonna bring that up and leave it open okay it even looks like a Christmas tree bulb something like that all right now on the ladybug you'll remember we drew a line kind of we bent it down this one we're going to kind of bend up so it's going to kind of come up like this and then it's going to bend and go down just like that okay now we're going to go right to this side here and you're going to give me a circle Just put a circle there and then float another circle right over there okay now go from the top of this circle and curve over and touch the top of that circle and we just made his head. Okay, now right here you're going to bring these little tubes that come out just like that. Kind of curve them up but make them real small just like that, okay? And now that's where his antennas are going to come out and we'll get back to his antennas in a minute. All right, we've got his head. And now we need to divide this up. So we're gonna take that smiley face line again, kind of curve it like this, okay? And now you've got your head, your thorax, and then this is your abdomen. And your abdomen is divided up into sections. So you're just gonna go ahead and do the lines. I know it's kind of starting to look like a bumblebee, but we're not gonna do this black and yellow. Okay, now you can leave it just like that, or if you want to take it to the next level, just go back and erase that edge like that. Okay, and you can still kind of see where that line is. So you're going to bring the 
fix these lines and bring them right back up to where they were. Just like that. And you can do that on both sides. Okay. Now, bulge them out. Like, bump them out like this. And it's going to give it a more realistic, just a little bit, okay? A little bit more at the top and a little bit less. And even though I didn't erase that line great, when I'm drawing these over, there you go. Look at how much more realistic that looks. Okay, so now we have our head, our thorax, our abdomen. And we're going to start with our first set of legs coming out of the thorax right up here at the top, okay? And they're gonna be three parts again. So you're gonna go one small part, two a big long part, and then curve a little foot like that, okay? And now you're just gonna go back and you're gonna copy the whole thing. So you're gonna copy that curved foot, and then you're gonna come here. And remember, you wanna start small, and get a little bit bigger and then draw that line and then here you want to go straight across and in just like that okay same thing on this one small and then give them that little foot then you can go and you can outline it and go from here oops a little skinny there that's okay here and then there, just like that. Okay, the second set of legs are gonna come out at that first division point. It's gonna kinda come up like this. Same thing. And remember, they're symmetrical, so all of your legs are gonna be the same on both sides. All right, and now this one we're gonna come down like this. Remember, you don't want a severe triangle, but you do want it to get a little bit smaller. And then go ahead and draw that leg in like that. Same thing on this one, bring it down. A little bit smaller. Draw that leg. And outline it. Okay, on the last set, you're gonna go right, maybe two, three. I'm gonna hit right that line of two, and same thing. But this one's gonna kinda come down a little bit more and then bend it. So it follows the line of the body. It's kind of parallel with the body. Like that. Come down. Give it its hook. And outline it. And then symmetrical. And down. And give it its hook. All right, so then we're gonna come out of here. And then we're gonna come down. foot just like that okay all right now on the back of your aphid he's usually got three different tubes for protection so if you do it just like one here like a V okay I say triangle but the end of it's not straight it's gonna be curved so it looks like it's coming out of his body okay and then symmetrical you're gonna do the same thing over here bring it out like this and then curve that back end, okay? And then on the very, very end, you're gonna add another tube. I'm just gonna shade those in just a little bit. Okay, and in this tube right here, what he does, he actually squirts out a really foul-smelling liquid that other insects, it makes them sick when they smell it, so they take off running, kind of like a stink bug, he's got that power. All right, the reason we waited on his antenna, because a lot of times you'll see these antennas come and they go back like this, and I didn't want to have to stop drawing. So the antenna is going to be on top, so you're going to go from there, and you're going to bring it, and they come way down like that. They have really long antennas. Same thing on this side. And bring it so you just go right over that leg just like that and then you want to go right next to it and make it just a little bit fatter all the way down okay. and same thing here 
Wait a bit there too. Got that line real close and then bring it to a point just like that. And ladies and gentlemen, you have an aphid. <laughs> Same thing with the other insects, three body parts. So this one we're gonna start with his thorax. And on his thorax, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like kind of a long oval, but we're gonna kind of square off the ends a little bit. It's almost like a rectangle maybe with round ends, something like this, okay? Notice it's a little tiny bit smaller on this end than it is up on this end, okay? All right, and now we're gonna add the head. And the head is gonna be like a great big horseshoe. So it's just gonna kind of come up like this. Just like that, like a big horseshoe. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna put three bumps, bump, bump, bump across there. So I like to do my first bump in the middle like that. Then I can just add the second bump and the third bump, just like that. Okay, there you go. Fix that. There we go. Okay. Now, on this bump here, you're gonna wanna bring it, now bring here and there, just like that. Curve it, just like that, okay? Really, really good. All right, now, from this little chunk is where that first mandible is going to come. And the mandible is that little claw that he bites leaves with or he picks up things. So it goes out like this, and then it goes straight down, then it goes back, okay? So it goes out, straight down, and back, just like that. And if you want, you can put a little jagged make that just a little jagged like that on the edge and that'll help him just kind of bite through everything okay now if you go right back here you're going to put two ovals this is one eye right here okay and just leave a little bit of white on there like it's getting a reflection of light okay and then you're going to do the same thing on this side obviously that's symmetrical example of symmetry okay now you want to put his antennas and his antennas are going to come from right next to his mandibles and they're going to come out and then they're going to turn and go up and they have the same kind of thing as a ladybug they're just a little bit longer but they've got this little kind of club at the end okay and bring it just kind of like that and then you can break it up Got like these little breakup lines on it, just kind of like that. Okay, and then obviously, same thing from this side. Real small. Okay. There you go. If you want, you can just darken those up just a little bit. And all these things with the ant, remember, as he's going along feeling things, he's using these little tiny hairs all over his body. So if you get right along the edge here, you might just want to throw a couple little hairs right under 
those antennas like that, okay? And you might throw, you throw a couple little ones on his head. Don't go too crazy, you don't want him to look furry, okay? And then the same thing on his thorax. Okay, so far so good. All right, now let's add his abdomen. And basically for the abdomen, there is a little tiny connector piece that connects right there and that allows the ant to swivel back and forth. So you wanna add that little connector piece. And then from there, you wanna put like a big smiley face, just like that. And I guess if you're doing it this direction, it could be a frown face or a smiley face like that, okay? And now come down from the middle and you're basically gonna make a cone without that line in the middle and you're gonna curve and aim to that point and curve and aim to that point right there. And now you've got yourself an upside down teardrop. And you're gonna divide that into one, two, look at how they're kind of smiley faces, right? Three and four little parts, just like that. And then you can go ahead and add a few little hairs here and there. Now, notice on the head how it's got the hairs out, so you wanna kinda of do the same thing here. You wanna throw a few hairs that break that line so it really makes it look like he's hairy. There you go, okay? But again, don't go crazy. Don't put them too close together that he looks like a cat or a dog or something. We need to break some of these lines right up here too. Yeah, something like that, okay? So far, we're doing great. All right, now we've got to get three sets of legs here. So we're gonna do one about halfway up and basically the same thing. These legs are segmented like all the other legs. So you've got that first part, then you've got the second part, and then you've got like a little kind of claw thing that goes like that, okay? So now basically we're gonna do the same thing we did with all the other ones. There's that little tiny joint that it comes from that helps it move. And then it comes all the way up and it gets a little bit skinnier as it goes down like this, right? Okay, and on this one, you're just gonna go like this. And now, same exact thing. You're gonna put a few of those little hairs and that's how it senses the world. So let it break that line and then give it just a couple little like claws like this, okay? Remember you did the same thing on this side, so you wanna give it that little joint first, okay? Or you can just come straight up here, first leg, second leg, okay? Now, go here and here, and then go ahead and put that hook on there, and then just lightly uh, hooking, okay? And now, Add those little hairs here and there. And if you want to make these legs a little more realistic, then you want to think about the underside and just give that underside just a slight little shadow like that. Here and here. Okay, and then same thing on the side here. Just give it a little, just a little tiny bit, just like that. Okay, so half of it's a little darker, half of it's a little lighter. All right, on this middle part, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to drop right underneath and go out one section, second section, and then that little hook, just like that, okay? First section, so not a very straight line, first section, second section, and the little hook, okay? So now I'm gonna break this up into the little valve that they come out of. Then remember, it just gets a little smaller as it goes. You don't want to get it too small like I did on this one, so I'm just going to shade that in to make that the shaded part. And add a few little hairs. I'm going to underline that foot here. Okay. And then same thing over here. And here. And I'll line that foot just a little bit.
All right, there we go. Now, we've got one set left. These are also gonna come out of the just the tip of the thorax, like right here where that bending part is. Okay, so just make it almost like it just hooks right here and bring that leg out from there. One, two, and three. And then same thing on the side. One, two, and three. And then you're gonna bring it right along the edge like that. And then you can break that up so it kind of has like a little connector piece and then shade the bottom little part of it and those little hairs hairy little creatures <laughs> and the ones down at the bottom here almost done look at this amazing isn't it Just a little bit. I like the hairs. I think it makes it really kind of gives it a good pop like that. Okay, there you go. Nice. And then you can bring this here into a little point. Okay, a little more like that. I'm just gonna shade the tip just a little bit, make it look a little more wicked, just like that. And there you go. We now have an ant.